How many of you have heard uh, the term muscle confusion? Mm -hmm. A lot of you. How many of you have heard muscle memory? All of you, right? We haven't talked about this before, right? Okay, good, because I really want to really get your opinion here. What would you say or think or do or feel if I told you that muscle confusion does not exist? Do you have an opinion? What? Give me your opinion. You, retaliation? Is that what you said? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was, well, I expect that from this next one. What if I told you that uh, muscle memory doesn't exist? I would tell you you're lying. You would tell me that I'm lying? Okay. Who thinks I'm a liar when I say muscle memory does not exist? Half of you, you think I'm a liar? Would I lie to you? Yes. I, I would lie to you. <laughs> but I'm not lying to you about this. Muscle memory does not exist. Let me, uh, give me that pen. Okay, check. Seriously, seriously. This pen does it and it does only what I make it do, right? It does only what I make it do. It's not like if I toss it up in the air several times, it's all of a sudden just going to memorize that and while I'm sitting there, it just goes, pops up in the air, right? <laughs> Now, I realize that's an informal example, but my point is a skeletal muscle like your bicep, your tricep, your gastrocnemius, where's the gastrocnemius? Your calf muscle is your gastrocnemius. Either way, a skeletal muscle does only what it's told to by the what? By the central nervous system. A muscle in and of itself cannot memorize anything. Now, I know that I've got high school coaches out right now watching this video like, I teach muscle memory every day. It exists, Dad. Give me a ding. <laughs> Maybe I should edit that out. <laughs> but no, I mean, coaches are always saying, muscle memory, muscle memory. You got to get the muscle memory. Well, it doesn't exist. However, I want to point out that when it comes to muscle memory, the idea that the term, use, that the term is trying to get across does exist. And the sense that if you practice a skill... Uh, often enough and with enough attention allocated toward it, that movement can become relatively automatic. Now, I want you to just repeat what I just said. Relatively automatic. Say it. Automatic. Not automatic. <laughs> it's relatively automatic. The reason I say relatively automatic is because if something is purely automatic, it is a reflex. Do you understand? Like the knee jerk reflex where you're sitting at the doctor's table and he's got the little triangle hammer looking thingy and it hits your patellar tendon and it's a knee jerk reflex. Can you imagine if you could practice something so often that it became a pure reflex? Like a pitcher in baseball. He's got his little, you know, his little thing and he rises his knee and he pitches. If he practiced that enough to become a pure reflex, that means that at any point in time you could give him the proper stimuli or stimulus and he would perform that movement. So hypothetically, let's say the stimulant for that particular action for him, if it's purely automatic, is the touch of a baseball, the feel of a baseball in his hand, and the crowd noise. So while he's sleeping, you could go up to headphones, put crowd noise in his ear, touch a baseball in his hands, and he'd be like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you caught me on my reflex, yeah. Muscle memory, right? Yeah, you got me. It is, that's not the way it works, right? The reason I say relatively automatic is because you're never going to get to a point where you practice so, something so much it becomes a pure reflex. You have to allocate at least some sort of attention in order to initiate that particular movement. However, muscle memory refers to this idea that it will become relatively automatic over time. For example, a hurdler. A hurdler with correct technique has to focus on a lot of things. Arm placement, leg placement, toe placement even. Uh, how high they jump, how fast they're going over the hurdle, several different, different aspects. It's not like they're thinking about each one of those components all at the same time when they're experts in hurdling. Do you understand? but they will have to initiate this initial program, if you will, to execute all those movements over the hurdle. Do you understand? Muscle memory does not exist. Who does not believe me now? Thank you, I've done my job. Lauren doesn't, because she wasn't paying attention. I looked too. It's okay, Lauren. Don't even. Okay, <laughs> so muscle confusion, where does the term muscle confusion come from? Why is it popular now? Anybody know? P90X, Tony Horton. You know, you know, X me. You ever seen those videos? Yeah. Well, Tony Horton, he even tried, I think he has a patent or whatever you call it, a trademark on the term uh, muscle confusion. Well, I'm going to say it, muscle confusion. Anyways, what he's referencing, and can you, can you confuse a muscle? 
the muscle does what it's told to do by the central nervous system. Period. You cannot confuse a muscle. I cannot confuse this pen. Like, oh, 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 oh. No, you can't confuse a pen. You can't confuse a muscle. It just does what it's told to do. However, much like the term muscle memory, muscle confusion is referencing a phenomenon that does exist, a phenomenon known as the overload and adaptation principle, which refers to the fact that you change up your workout, your exercise, your regimen in some way so that your body is constantly trying to adapt to that. Do you understand? Now, there are some cases, some cases that people will plead that will say, yes, but if you confuse... If you change your workout too often, too much, then you never allow significant improvement. But, how, but, but generally, the idea that if you practice something over and over and over again and you don't change the frequency, the intensity, the time, or the type of exercise, then you're not going to really get to this point where you can keep changing and keep improving. You'll plateau. Do you understand? So muscle confusion, it addresses this idea of overload and adaptation. However, by definition, you cannot confuse a muscle. Muscle memory. A muscle cannot memorize anything, but it does address this idea that if you practice something often enough with enough attention allocated toward that specific task, it can become relatively automatic. Everybody good? Y'all believe me? Any high school coaches mad at me? No? A little bit? It's going to happen. All right. <laughs>